what does it look like? It's an island. An island. Beautiful. I'd like for you to describe this island. What do you see? I see trees all around, mm -hmm. palm trees, mm -hmm. and sand, and water. I'm looking, I'm looking down on it. Mm -hmm. Where are you as you look down on it? I'm floating above it. Mm -hmm. So as you float above this island, can you move in any direction? Yes. Mm -hmm. So let's get closer to this island and let's see what the importance of this island is. What do you see there? I see big rock uh -huh. uh, mountains. Big rock mountains? Mm -hmm. What else do you see? There's a flat top on the mountains. Mm -hmm. What is the significance of that flat top? Where people look out. Mm -hmm. I also see further in the distance a mountain that's half snow mm -hmm. and half not. Mm -hmm. I How do these places make you feel? Comfortable. Mm -hmm. They're very pretty. Mm -hmm. It's very scenic. As you watch this, do you feel that you have some sort of a body? What do you sense? I'm observing. Mm -hmm. I've been here before. Mm -hmm. So let's find out what the role is that you have in this place. What is the reason why you're observing this island? What is it about this island that calls you? Trust your first impression. I feel as though something happened here. Mm -hmm. And I can't... Uh, um, the image is blocked, but whenever I look to my right, mm -hmm. it's um, more... It's spacious. There's nothing there. Mm -hmm. What do you believe that was on that place? Where you look to the right. Was there something there before? Trust your intuition. Oh. This is what I'm what I'm looking at is a secret place. Mm -hmm. It's not where people live and where people are mm -hmm. is not is not what I'm looking at. Mm -hmm. That's why it's blocked. Ah, it's hidden. It's hidden. It's hidden. Mm -hmm. It's hidden on the other side. What do you imagine is in this place that's secret? Uh, on the other side of the mountain, in between, cut like a cake. Mm -hmm. Uh, there's dwellings inside the mountain. Mm -hmm. Many, many rows. rows. Mm -hmm. And why is it that you are not allowed on that side? I'm watching out. Mm -hmm. Do you protect this place? Yes. Mm -hmm. Are you the one who put up the block? 
to keep we it. We all did. We all did. So let's find out a little bit about what's the importance of this place. Why does this place need to be kept hidden? The, the colony is, is good, it's pure, it's mm -hmm. just really good, kind people, and almost like they're hitting away from the rest of society. Mm -hmm. Even though it's on an island, on this mountain, inside, where they are away from everything, they're really hidden. Mm -hmm. What about this society is so important? It's the balance. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that balance. They need the balance. We need the balance. Do they do something for us? Just by being. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Were you ever one of these people? Mm -hmm. Yes, I was a little boy. You were a little boy. Did you, cho did you choose to help keep this place hidden? It was given to me. Mm -hmm. It was all of our responsibilities. Mm -hmm. Anyone who has lived there before? Is that it? Yes. Mm -hmm. It's we take turns. Okay. So let's find out what kind of a life you lived down that place. Let's find out what it is that is so important that keeps us balanced. I'd like for you to go back in time. Drifting and floating back in time and see yourself in that lifetime. Be there now. Where are you? I'm there. Mm -hmm. Describe this place for me. Uh. It's European in style, where the roads and the buildings are very close together. Mm -hmm. And everybody's very happy. It's like a Disney mm -hmm. cartoon, almost. Mm -hmm. What do the dwellings look like there? Um, they're made of stone, clay. It looks hmm. Describe them for me. I just see beige homes and and the brick roads are beige too or mm -hmm. they could be gold. And again I see myself skipping down the brick road mm -hmm. holding on to somebody's hand. Mm -hmm. How are you dressed there? I have brown overalls on and a yellow shirt. Mm -hmm. It has a collar. Are you wearing any shoes? Yes, they're brown. And they have a buckle. Mm -hmm. um, the shoes are brown. The socks are yellow, too. Mm -hmm. And whose hand are you holding? My father's. What does he look like? Um... He looks a little deformed. Mm -hmm. His his proportions are bigger mm -hmm. compared to me. Mm -hmm. um, Is he much very bigger? tall? 
he's really tall and has like a large face and larger hands mm -hmm. very um, he himself feels like a protector mm -hmm. do you feel that he's somewhat of a giant yes mm -hmm. Can yes. you imagine how tall he would be? Seven foot, eight foot. Mm-hmm. He's, he's not, he's like twice the size of us. Mm-hmm. And he's there to protect me as a little boy. Mm-hmm. Is he your father? He feels like that. Mm-hmm. Who else is there with you? You said he's there to protect us. Who are the others? The people on the street. Mm -hmm. the, the village that I'm in. Mm -hmm. What size are those people on the village? Normal size. Mm -hmm. So he, he is above all of those? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he doesn't look. He, he's... As far as a attractive level, he's he looks very ogreish. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about him? Great. That's mm -hmm. why I'm skipping. He's mm -hmm. very protective. Mm -hmm. You know, when he's around, you're totally fine. Mm -hmm. What's his personality like? Very dry. Mm. Just stoic. Mm -hmm. He's just he's just there. He's he's there to walk mm -hmm. along the side of you. Mm -hmm. How is he dressed? He's in... He has very dark brown. He, his, his skin color is like a super dark brown and like dirt. And his pants are of, of black. They look cloth like a burlap but a really really dark black burlap mm -hmm. and his shirt is um, super dark brown mm -hmm. as well <laughs> mm -hmm. everything around this place is, is is tan or or gold or an earth color it's all earth colors mm -hmm. So let's find out where it is that you're going with this man. Okay. What do you see along the way? I'm walking down the street and the same thing. People are all outside just just having a good time and mm -hmm. just doing their daily chores. It, there's no stress. Mm -hmm. As you look at the people while you're walking by, mm -hmm. do these look like modern times or ancient no, times? No, it doesn't look mm -hmm. modern. It, although it looks like here, it doesn't look like here. Mm -hmm. Very good. And I see a, a above the town a big grassy hill. That's the first bit of color that I see anyway. Mm -hmm. Is there anything on that grassy hill? A tree. One tree? One tree. Mm -hmm. It's at the top of the hill. One tree. Let's see what else you see there. Uh, Look at the sky. Anything interesting about the sky? Very blue. Mm -hmm. Does it have a sun? It does. Around, very similar to our sun. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about your journey. I see on the other side of the grassy hill, it's a, um, it's a, it's like it's, it's sliced off. It's just a straight, you just go all the way down and there's all the trees again 
um, in the forest and there's a, it's a valley, I'm sorry, it's a valley Mm -hmm. on the other side of this. Anything interesting about that valley? (laughs) What's there? It's just really pretty. It's, it looks like Hawaii. Mm -hmm. It looks like Hawaii. Lots of trees down below, all very luscious and green. Mm -hmm. There's another mountain on the other side. Um, but I don't think there's people anywhere else, but in our village. Mm -hmm. And again, I see that where the trees at the end of the valley, where there's sand in the ocean and this It looks like an island, but what I notice about the town is that they're all kids. Mm -hmm. No adults there? Yeah, that's what I, that's the difference. There's Mm -hmm. no, there's no adults. Mm -hmm. It's all kids. Why do you imagine that is? (sighs) These kids are protected. Mm Mm-hmm. Is this what your father is doing, protecting you? I don't think he's my father. I think Mm -hmm. he's just a protector. Mm -hmm. He was holding my hand. Yes. So it felt like a father. So let's find out the story about why those children, those kids, are being protected. What's happened there? What's happening? What are you receiving? It's where the kids learn Mm -hmm. to live on Earth. Ah, okay. So what are they learning today? There are houses and there's roads and these guides, they show them the trees and the Earth and how a home life is as far as the, like the daily stuff that people do. But it's all like, it's all play. Mm-hmm. It's all play. Mm-hmm. It's like the little kitchenettes and stuff you have when you were little. So let's find out a little bit about these children and yourself and why is it that you need to go to this learning place before you go to Earth? Have you never been to Earth before? These kids never have been to Earth. Mm -hmm. Where do they come from? Uh, They're alien. Mm -hmm. They're just learning. What do they look like? Mostly human. Mm -hmm. They look mostly human. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Some look a little deformed. Mm -hmm. (laughs) What is the purpose of that? Uh, Just their genetics. Mm -hmm. They're not deformed. They're perfectly fine. Just some have really large heads. Mm -hmm. Some are different colors. Mm-hmm. What colors do you see? Um, green, mm-hmm. brown. Some have brown heads, mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. like the guardian. Mm. <laughs> um, some just have spots of color. Not quite decided what color they'll be. It's just. I think. That's just how they were born. Just okay. a, like some just have a large purple birthmark. Mm-hmm. Some have a large green birthmark. I see. Um, what do you call this guardian, this giant that protects you? Does he have a name? What do 
you here? Enru, 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 yeah. So where is Enru taking you today? Mm, it's taking me off the island. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about that? I'm good. <laughs> These these guardians are so loving and trusting and, and strong and stable. It's wherever they tell you to go, you just you're okay with it. Mm -hmm. You just trust. So he's so we're we're going off. Oh, I see. As we go forward and to the right, that's where we're going. We're we're going down the road to the right. What's there? <laughs> <sighs> what do you see? <laughs> um, I see a spaceship. Mm -hmm. Describe the spaceship for me. It's small. Mm -hmm. um, it seems like a transportation mm -hmm. spaceship. How many can fit in there? I see two front seats for sure, mm -hmm. and then there's a round back seat. It's rounded. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> how many people fit on that one seat in the back? My size four. Mm -hmm. uh, the guardian size. He has a hard time. Mm -hmm. he, has, he would have to bend down. Okay. Maybe one or two. Mm -hmm. Can you explain the shape of this spaceship? What is it? What is it shaped in? Um, it's like a round orb, and then there's a like a hula hoop around it. A hoop around it? Yeah, like a hoop. It's thin, and it goes out. Uh, Does it have any color? The hoop is white, and the ship itself is a super light gray. Okay. What do you imagine the hoop does? I, I, th I think that's how it moves. Okay. Does it have anything inside? No, just two seats, um, and then that round, um, and then that seating area. It's... <laughs> it, um, It's just like a oval, half oval seating area, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and there's cushion on the seating area. And is it part of the seat, the cushion? Part of the seat, the mm -hmm. cushion. Yes. Mm -hmm. And the front doesn't have many dials or anything like that. There's just two seats in the front. Mm -hmm. And they're really close to the front of the glass of the orb. Mm -hmm. Is there any way to control this ship? There's people that can control it. Mm -hmm. There's flyers. Flyers. It's what? like a transportation. It's like uh -huh. a taxi. Uh huh. What do they look like? These these flyers that take you. Um. <sighs> what do they look like? <sighs> Do they look like you? I don't see him at the moment. Mm. What do you see? <laughs> I just see this. I just see this transportation taxi, and I see inside of it, and there's nobody in there yet. Mm -hmm. And uh, oh, that's neat. Um, the sides they come up, kind of. Uh, it's just glass. They just come up mm -hmm. for you to go in. Okay. Can you see through the spaceship outside? Yes. Mm -hmm. But it's it's all black. It's all black inside. Yeah, it's why it's strange because you walk you walk through this town and you turn and you go to this 
vehicle and then it's like space mm. so this area is to learn and you learn about the environment mm. and it's like a school it's like this is a classroom almost mm -hmm. so this transportation vehicle is also a classroom no or the space around it the place where you actually where yeah. the vehicle is yeah there the vehicle is mm -hmm. it's like an it's like an outer space? Yes. It's like instead of having a bus, you have this spaceship. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So let's see what, it, what happens. Yeah. Tell me what happens. Do you see? I'm going on the ship mm -hmm. with the guide, mm -hmm. the guardian, and there's somebody in the front. He's very tall, a really long head. Long being up? Yes. Mm -hmm. And mm, smaller features. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why don't they make this ship larger? It's like both, the only person who doesn't have to duck is me. Mm -hmm. How are these people who drive the ship dressed? Do they wear clothes? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. What do they look like? It's like transportation clothes. Mm -hmm. Like it's not what they normally wear. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. It's not what they normally wear. It's like he has some sort of jacket on mm -hmm. overneath it over top of his clothes okay and over top of his he normally wears something shiny mm -hmm. like it's um it's, it's like the it's just thin and shiny it's okay. metallic can you, can you see that underneath the jack no okay you just, I just know, know. yeah okay. very good so let's see where it happens where do you go where do they take you? <sighs> take a look at the driver. <laughs> I don't, it's, I, I feel pulled to the island, but I feel we're going to another, um, planet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. What happens next? What do you see as you travel? We're pausing in space. Mm -hmm. How can you see outside the ship? Hmm. It's clear through the front. Mm -hmm. I've done this before. Mm -hmm. So it seems familiar to you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that you've done this many times before? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As you go you go back to this planet back and forth to keep it's like school mm -hmm. you keep learning about I believe you're we're learning about earth okay so let's find out what's so important about learning about earth what's the importance of earth that it needs this whole school just to learn about it 
because Earth needs help. Mm -hmm. So you get these children that are learning to go to Earth to raise it, to raise the vibration. Tell me more about this. happening with Earth that you need to go back. There's a dysfunction within the people. Mm -hmm. So we go back to accelerate progress how do you do that but it's not earth isn't ready the no, earth isn't ready earth isn't ready mm -hmm. what would what would take earth to be ready for this acceleration mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There needs to be more love, mm. more love on Earth. And how is that going to happen? But the children can affect the Earth without being on it. Mm. How do they do that? Because they are part human. Mm. They're part of Earth. Now, when you say they're part human, mm. Do they have DNA from human beings? It feels that way. All right. Let's find out how these children have this DNA. Let's see what happens. I feel as though these children are more alien then they are human, but they're part human and they need to go back to Earth eventually. Mm -hmm. Do they want to go back to Earth? Mm. They're just loving, wonderful people with no fear. There's no fear at the moment. They know they need to go to Earth mm -hmm. to help. Mm -hmm. And they're happy if they're learning, if they're with people that aren't human, if if they were with the humans, if they're with the guardians, they're just... So let's find out how it is that you come to be on Earth. What prepares you to take you there? I'd like for you to go now to the place and the time where you were prepared right before coming to Earth. Be there now. Where are you? Where are you? I'm again I'm I'm with somebody and we're now talking to another person, but I have my guardian with me. I have that same guardian mm -hmm. and we're talking to the person I want to say he's in charge mm -hmm. of like preparing us to go down mm -hmm. or talking to us giving is, us a place to where we're supposed to go. Mm -hmm. What does he look like? <sighs> What do you see? Um, a 
vi... I don't know why he would be bald on top. He has a bald head mm -hmm. and then long hair. <laughs> okay. So at the top of his head, the dome is bald? Yes, and it's gray long hair. It's, mm -hmm. I don't get it. How does he wear his hair? Down. It's just straight and down, and he has a beard. Mm -hmm. What are his clothes like? <laughs> How is he dressed? <laughs> I have the impression he dresses however it's comfortable for you. Mm -hmm. So what is this place where you're meeting this man with the long hair? Look around you. Where are we? Are you indoors? Are you outdoors? Mm, I'm not in or outdoors. Mm -hmm. How does it feel? What is it's it spacious. Space? Spacious. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Everything is all. It's just spacious. Mm -hmm. And I've never met him before. Mm -hmm. How does he feel to you? Um, he <laughs> he feels like a boss. <laughs> and what is his responsibility? What's his role? To direct you where to go. Mm -hmm. To tell the guardian where you need to go. It's, it's almost like he corresponds more with my guardian than he does with me. Mm -hmm. How does that make you feel? Fine. Mm -hmm. It's it, and so his demeanor changes. However, it is comfortable for me. Mm. So he adjusts to your. Yes. Mm -hmm. He adjusts to whoever comes to him. Okay. So how is he adjusting to you? Um. He seems very like. Seems like an ancient Chinese man. An ancient Chinese man. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's his, like, his bald, he has the long hair, and he has the gray beard and the gray mustache, and, mm -hmm. um, uh, he, he, although he's Chinese, he looks Caucasian, and he's wearing uh, really light, looks like, oh, hmm. his clothes are very soft and light. He's at a desk. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's on the desk? A paper. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, a paper. Let's find out what this paper says. It's hieroglyphics. Mm -hmm. And you'll be able to read it. You'll know what it says. You don't have to read the letters. You'll just know. What is this paper saying? It links me to my creation. Mm. To the pyramids. Mm -hmm. So how are you linked? Tell me more. What are you receiving from this information? Um, I th that's part of me. Mm -hmm. Somebody from the pyramids. Somebody from the pyramids. So that's part of my DNA. Okay. That's where my DNA. That's the other half of my DNA. Mm -hmm. Where does it come from? The pyramids. Or the times of the pyramid? The times. Mm -hmm. Is this the part that makes you human? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just like all the other children? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All they have separate parts and 
separate timelines of mm -hmm. our timelines as we think of as humans. Mm -hmm. uh, so we don't we don't age once mm. we are. We it seems like it's very slow. Mm. Like it's like you can turn down time mm -hmm. where we're at, and you just stay this. Are you able to manipulate time? Tell me more. Yeah, it's... They... What are you feeling? A half... A half alien sign. Mm -hmm. The half on human side is very empathic. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. How do you use this gift? I feel around me. I feel around me. I feel. Mm -hmm. so you can. You sense. That's it. You sense. You feel. You empathize with earth, with people. Telepathic, you can even see thoughts. Mm -hmm. Is this the human side or the alien side? The alien side. Uh -huh. How can you develop that side even more? Tuning in, doing it more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The more you do, the stronger you get connected mm -hmm. to the to that higher self mm -hmm. that mm, that's that's it mm -hmm. and so these children so we come to earth to sh to, to, to train mm -hmm. to teach to show humans can do it too these children just can s turn it on. They can instantly do it. Okay. I okay, I see. And so, these children... Tell me more about these children. They're here on Earth now. Mm -hmm. These professions, this profession, your profession, you, you tap into it. Mm -hmm. That's, that's where we're at now. That's why we're here now. Mm -hmm. Before it wasn't, it, we raised ourselves to a certain level to where we're able to to tap in to where these children are able to to come down and oh and they're able to to teach and show people of earth oh, how to be more empathic how to be lighter how to be more love how to be more joy how to be kind how to feel around them. Mm. Mm -hmm. Is that the reason that all these children will be preparing for Earth to come here? Yes, they will. Mm -hmm. There's so many of them. Mm -hmm. There's, there's so many of them. Although, uh, I say that, but it's, it, it appears as a country of them. A country of. Them. Mm -hmm. So when these children arrive, arrive on Earth, do they choose a family for a certain reason, or they're just... They're paired. They're paired. Mm -hmm. Yes, they're paired with families that can enhance their abilities, that encourage their growth, or they're paired with the people that they will grow up with that will encourage their growth. Mm -hmm. But it seems as though it's more family. 
They're born into the family that will encourage their growth. What if these children, by mistake, choose a family that's abusive? There's no mistake. Mm. There's no choosing. They, they don't choose. It's chosen for them. Ah, who's choosing this for these children? It seems as though the, <laughs> the original person that um, I was with, with my guardian, that my guardian was speaking to. Mm -hmm. It's like a council. A council? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And the, I want to say the, the guardians are with us, are mm. with us children at earth. They're there. In what form are these guardians there? Do they still take that giant form? They still are mm. uh, a giant form, yes. Mm -hmm. But you can't see them. You sense them. Mm -hmm. They're there. They're there to give you the courage to use the empathic self because so much around you is not empathic. Mm -hmm. But it's like somebody... Uh, that guardian, it's like that person has been with you longer than your parents. It's, it's like that part of you that gives you courage. Mm -hmm. Is this guardian... The same guardian for all of these children, or do you have your own particular one? Mm. Do you have one special for you? He feels special to me, but I think he has multiple children. Mm -hmm. But I feel one with the other children. I see. Do you ever meet any of these children once you arrive on Earth? Yes. Mm -hmm. What's the role that you play on Earth as you grow up? Just to be. Just to be. Just to be in, with your intuition and to help. And it's just, just to be. There's no... The only role is to live mm -hmm. and to keep your intuition and to do what your intuition says. Mm -hmm. Is there any particular place on earth that these children go to to help mm -hmm. here? Do some choose certain continents or cities? Yes, they're mm -hmm. spread out. They're spread out. It seems as if f uh, for every section has a particular child. Hmm. And it seems as if I have run into them, but it's not a, it's, it's not a, um, you, you don't need to be around the other children. Okay. The other, the other children just, you know, as in the same place. Mm-hmm. Now, when you arrive on planet Earth, as the, one of these children, do you remember what your mission is? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So let's find out a little bit about why Brooke decided to be on planet Earth. Would you explain to me why she is here? She is here to be. To show both sides, both halves of her that is one. She is empathic. So her purpose in this lifetime is just to be? To share her empathic gifts. To share her empathic gifts. Yes, mm -hmm. in a positive way. Is she doing that now? Is she yes. on the right track? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Now, right now she's doing acupuncture. Uh -huh. Is there something else that she could be doing more beneficial? 
for our advancement and to benefit others. <sighs> she does acupuncture as a as a means to heal empathically. Mm-hmm. She, she doesn't need acupuncture. It's a way for people to be comfortable. Mm-hmm. It's a tool, perhaps, that she uses? It's a tool. Mm-hmm. It's her that's healing. How is it that she's healing her clients? By giving intention to the areas that they are body seems when she works on somebody the body seems to have spots of imbalance that the person puts there Mm -hmm. by intention by tapping into their field Mm the intention is put on each one of the spots and a needle works beautiful to show that individual spot now you say that it works beautifully is there any other modality that she can be using to enhance healing others Any modality. Any modality. Yes, any modality. She feels the need to relate to people by physical touch, Mm -hmm. by scientific background. Mm -hmm. So acupuncture has a research-based background. Mm -hmm. But hypnosis, pranic healing, reiki, cranial sacral therapy talking Mm -hmm. any anything and anything you can create any of these modalities you can create them Mm -hmm. it's the intention okay so no matter what it is that you're doing it's the intention that you set behind it that does the healing yes does it have anything to do with the receiver also Allowing it? The receiver has to allow it, has to allow it, Mm -hmm. has to accept it. Mm -hmm. There has to be rapport. Okay. It can be done, but if the person receiving doesn't have the intention to heal, Mm -hmm. it will revert because their mind will revert it. Okay. It will revert it. So basically, you can give a gift, but if the person does not accept the gift, yes. there is no gift. Yes, mm-hmm. they have to accept. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it's them healing. Themselves. Yes. Mm-hmm. It's just your intention that ignites it. Mm-hmm. Very good. If, they, if they're unaware. Mm-hmm. Good. Now, who's working with her? She says that when she moves her hand, it seems as if someone moves that hand for her. Who's guiding that hand? Does she have guides or teachers that work with her to show her these spots where she needs to put the needles? It's the person on the table. Mm the person on the table yes the person on the table tells her where to go she assists Mm. so they actually 
send out a signal, the body sends out a signal where these spots are? Yes, and you, she, you tap into that mm -hmm. unconscious. Okay. So they're kind of sending out a signal as to where to land. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, and we all have it. Mm -hmm. We all show our spots. Mm -hmm. We all show the spots when you want to heal. Mm -hmm. So anybody with any type of healing modality would pick up on that empathically? Where the, where the, the, um... They can. Mm-hmm. Good. Mm-hmm. So does she work with any guides at all? You said she has her guardian, but is there a guide? The, or does the, she work differently than others? The guardian is a pillar of courage. Mm-hmm. To keep going. Okay. It's not necessarily a guide other than a protector. Okay. It's she's still protect protected. Now being that she's one of these children, are these children different than most? Are they guided by something else? I see two halves. Mm -hmm. It's like one half is one DNA, the other half is another DNA. Mm -hmm. There's like two halves, and although they're the same, one has higher knowledge mm -hmm. that I'm calling alien, mm -hmm. higher, just a higher, a higher DNA. Mm -hmm. And that's what she has? That she can tap into. That she can tap into. Yes, mm -hmm. quicker. Mm -hmm. It's a, she can tap into it quicker. It's there. It okay. doesn't have to be learned. It's just tapped. Okay. <laughs> so, sensations during acupuncture. Mm -hmm. Is she treating these people effectively? Yes. Okay. Is there anything else that she should be doing to be more effective or just tapping in? Hypnosis would be good. Okay. Because you can explain and talk to people, mm -hmm. uh, tap into their subconscious, so they leave with it, and they don't try to change it. Okay. People try to change. Mm. They, good. they try. Good. So, what would be a good way for her to study hypnosis? Mm. We had talked about a few different things before we started. What would be the best way for her to study hypnosis. Regressions? Clinical? What would be the best? Mm. Mentor. A mentor? A mentorship. Mm -hmm. That would be the best. Okay. The quickest. Hands-on. One-on-one. Mm -hmm. Watching with the people. Mm -hmm. Like she just did in acupuncture. Correct. Mm -hmm. okay. But the, the other ways are fine. They just take longer. Yes, they do. Mm -hmm. Now, she says that she, when she was uh, younger, she had strong dizziness, tunnel vision. Was this mm -hmm. to teach her anything? She was unfamiliar with Earth. Ah. Oh, yes. It was hard for her. And then the new atmosphere and all the vibrations around her. Mm -hmm. Had oh. she never been to Earth before? She's never... This whole DNA has never been to Earth. Mm -hmm. But half her DNA has. Okay. Half her DNA has lived many, <laughs> has, her parent, so to speak, mm -hmm. has been here since uh, the time of the pyramids. Okay. And then the, uh, together, this, the child has not. Mm -hmm. This is new. Okay. This is new. So she was asking about imprinting. Mm -hmm. Yes. When did her real existence on this world begin? You said the parent. <laughs> was it the pyramid or was it she way has, before? 
so <laughs> the higher self mm -hmm. and the, the, the self in the times of the pyramid, mm -hmm. the DNA, <laughs> they it came together, it imp made her. Mm -hmm. So half higher self and then half the, the, the level of which we're at now. Mm -hmm. So, it's not in. It's not an imprint. It's different. Okay. It's different. Okay. So does she have like memories, soul memories from the from different times? She has soul memories of her mother. Of her mother. Yes. Mm -hmm. And her father. Her higher self has memories as well. Ah. So these soul memories, do they remember people from other lifetimes? Yes. Now she says that she wanted to, she, she's noticed that she needs a lot of sleep. What's causing her to need so much sleep? She's only half human. Mm -hmm. It takes a lot of out of her when she does her tunes in and taps in and heals and touches people mm -hmm. every day. Yes. She can turn it on and off, but it, she has to tap into her higher self mm -hmm. and she needs her rest. Mm -hmm. She, it repairs her. It's a battery. Is there something <sighs> that she can do to keep her from losing some of this energy. For example, if she were a telephone, we'd be, we could turn off some of the apps while she's using her healing. Is there anything that she can do herself to turn off some of this losing of the energy? No. No. She needs to use all of it. Yes. And she needs to sleep. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's, she, she's not, uh, it's split. Mm -hmm. So half is this higher self and half is this human self. Mm. So when she taps into the higher self, she drains her human self. Okay. She has to repair that part mm -hmm. by sleeping yes the higher self she does not mm -hmm. the human self she does because she it uh, does she go anywhere when she sleeps yes where does she go she goes back to her higher self. Mm. And does the higher self have any activities that it does while she's repairing her body? Yes. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me about that? Just hanging out. Just hanging out. Just having a good time with that side of her. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's like she's here, but she's not here. Mm -hmm. I'm here, I'm here, but it's like there's another part. Mm -hmm. This higher... Uh, is this higher self alien, or is this higher self just divine? Alien. Alien, okay. Now, she had an experience once while she was sleeping, in which she had sleep paralysis. There were some beings there. She saw her guide. Ah, is this the guardian? Yes. Okay. And what were they doing with her neck? She seemed to have something taken from her neck. It was... It... It was tapping into her human self. Hmm. Recording her human self. Can you explain that a little bit more? What that means by 
recording it. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, children that come here that are um, part human, part alien, mm-hmm. um, are researched at this time. Okay. They want to see how the human side uh, or or how this experience is going. Mm-hmm. What they can improve upon. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So what were they taking from her neck? It said she said it was kind of painful for the next few days. It was sore. Did she have some sort of implant there? Yes. Mm-hmm. Does she have any other implants? <laughs> Yes. Mm-hmm. And what are those implants being used for? Same. Same thing. Yes. Oh. It's just recording data. Okay. Just recording the experiences here. And how many? To how the physical, how everything is kind of processing mm-hmm. and doing. How many does she have? One. Just one. Where is it located? Back of neck. Back of the neck. Does she feel it at all? Sometimes. Okay. She feels it now. Does she need to do anything with it? No. Mm -hmm. Don't focus on it. All right. So can we go ahead and begin to numb that area to where she doesn't even feel it anymore? Yes. Very good. Thank you. She says that she's had multiple treatments of pranic healing and had a lot of cords that were not beneficial to her removed. And she felt them being taken off. Can you explain that to her? She's attached to everybody she talks to or Mm. tunes into. She attaches. Mm. And it's a cord that she takes with her everywhere she goes. Does she need to take that cord with her? Or can she detach it once she finishes with that person? She can detach it. Okay, very good. It's her way of tuning in. Okay. She tunes in. All right. So can we, can you show her in a picture in her mind how to go ahead and detach those mm-hmm. cords? Yes. Mm-hmm. Is this something that can be shared with other healers? Yes. Mm-hmm. Can you explain you, how do we detach? You can literally take your arm and cut it off. Mm-hmm. Imagine it's there and cutting it off. All right. Very good. You see the cord and you cut it. Mm -hmm. So anytime you deal with someone, a client or a patient, you just, when they leave, you cut off that cord? Yes, I'm showing her. Mm. She has cords all over. All right. Can we begin cutting all of those cords right now? She needs to hold on to some. All right. So let's cut all the others that are not needed. And tell me what sensation that feels like when you cut those cords. Lighter. Lighter, very good. Thank you. She told me that she had a session, and when she talked about 9-11, she felt an intense sadness, and her face and hair started to itch as if bugs were crawling out. It was explained to her that it was the souls leaving that were holding on to her. Was this accurate? Or is there another explanation for that? Her guardian told her to be calm. Mm -hmm. She was calm. She was there for this. She was in New York for this reason. Mm -hmm. She went to New York for this reason, Mm. to keep calm, to keep calm. So she was holding space for all of these souls? Yes. Mm -hmm. So what did she do with all of these souls? Did she take them in under her wing? She just let them be, whatever they wanted to do. Mm -hmm. They wanted to attach if they were wanting to let go. 
She was there just to be comfort, mm -hmm. to be calm, to have a place of peace. Mm -hmm. Have all of these souls now gone home after this healing? Yes. Very good. Very good. And how can she keep from having them attach again? It's okay. It's okay. She's here to let them. All right. If needed. Mm -hmm. And she can let them go at any time? All these children are here to let them if needed. Mm, okay. And they can go at any time. It's a, a safe place. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the people who come to me are light workers, and I imagine they may be some of these children, and mm -hmm. they all have attachments. Mm -hmm. Is it because that's what they signed up for, to have them come to them in comfort? Children come here to be the calm if if souls are are scared of a from a trauma, mm -hmm. others can be from negative emotions. Negative emotions can carry a vibration that can bring that vibration to them. Mm -hmm. Children come here for a safe place. The vibration can be any vibration. Mm. Any vibration. It doesn't weigh them down. It doesn't weigh them down. It, it doesn't cause them physical harm. It can make them It doesn't cause them physical harm. It can make them feel heavy. Mm -hmm. It can it can make them feel heavy. Mm -hmm. So what would be the best way for these children who are harboring all of these attachments to feel lighter. Pray. Pray. Okay, very good. Thank you. Now, is there any balance of karma that she needs to attain with her family? No. No. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. Why did she choose her family? Or you said she it was it wasn't chosen for her? It was chosen for her. It was chosen. Mm -hmm. They are there to support mm -hmm. her, what they call creativity on earth. Mm -hmm. They are there to support her desires to help with her empathic side. Okay. Okay. Good. Would you do a scan on her body and let's see what else she has? to address today? The pancreas. The pancreas. What's going on with the pancreas? It's working too hard. Mm -hmm. How is it being overworked? Sugar. Ah. Mm -hmm. So what would you like to tell Brooke about sugar?
it needs to be minimized even more. Mm-hmm. She's she has really good days. Mm-hmm. She is addicted to sugar. Mm-hmm. Just less of it. Can we begin healing the pancreas today? Yes. Thank you. What would you like to use today? What are you using on her pancreas? Light. Very good. What color? White. Thank you. Let me know when you are complete. We're complete. Thank you. What about her allergies, the runny nose, the cold sores? Where is that coming from? The sugar. The sugar. Very good. So do you think that we can eliminate that now that she will think It's not just the sugar. Mm -hmm. It's the chemicals within the sugar as well. Very good. Mm -hmm. Some are past vaccines. Mm. So how can she... Metal. And metal. She's all of that that she's uh, ingesting. Every time she has something that contains metal, Mm -hmm. it gives her an allergen. Okay. It reactivates and reactivates it. Is there something that she can do because she can help heal others? How can she help heal herself? How can she call forth her guides, her guardian, to assist her in healing her own body? She can focus on the area, give it white light, and let it go. Very good. Thank you very much. Is there anything that I didn't ask that you would like to tell Book today? Any advice? Any tips? As far as the children on earth, Mm -hmm. she is fulfilling her purpose, and everybody is joyful Mm -hmm. for the for the communion. There will be more children now. They see it's possible. more empathic people will be coming. Mm -hmm. And the more empathic people, the more empathic everybody becomes. The more of anything, the more it becomes. Mm. The more love we are, the more love everybody is. So the more empathic, the more empathic Everybody is the more joyful. Everything is contagious. Mm. Everything. If you're in a bad mood, keep it to yourself. Mm-hmm. And if you're love, you spread it more. If you're love, it spreads. People feel that vibration. Mm-hmm. People become love. Mm-hmm. People become joy from you being joyful. If they're even around you, it doesn't, they don't even need to be in your eyesight. Mm -hmm. They could be walking by, they could be across the street. You being joy 
you being love hits them, mm. you'll get a thought in your mind that changes. Your thoughts will become more loving. If you're walking down this street and you have a thought of love that wasn't originally there, look around you, look at the people. If you have a thought of hate, look around you, look at the people. Mm. Look at your thoughts. Know who you are and then look at your thoughts. You'll know how connected you are with everyone and everything. Mm. You are connected to earth. You're connected to people. You're connected to aliens. You're connected to your higher selves. You're connected to your guides, to your guardians, whoever you want to call them. You are all connected. Every time you have a thought, it's connected to somebody else's thought. Hmm. That's wonderful. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Are we complete today? Yes. Thank Is there anything much. that I didn't ask that you would like to tell for today? Any advice? Any tips? As far as the children on earth, mm -hmm. she is fulfilling her purpose. And everybody is joyful mm -hmm. for the, for the communion. There will be more children now. They see it's possible. More empathic people will be coming. Mm -hmm. And the more empathic people, the more empathic everybody becomes. The more of anything, the more it becomes. Mm. The more love we are, the more love everybody is. So the more empathic, the more empathic everybody is. The more joyful. Everything is contagious. Mm. Everything. If you're in a bad mood, keep it to yourself. Mm -hmm. And if you're love, you spread it more. If you're love, it spreads. People feel that vibration. People become love. Mm -hmm. People become joy from you being joyful. If they're even around you, it doesn't, they don't even need to be in your eyesight. They could be walking by, they could be across the street. You being joy, you being love hits them. Mm. You'll get a thought in your mind that changes. Your thoughts will become more loving. If you're walking down the street and you have a thought of love that wasn't originally there, look around you, look at the people. If you have a thought of hate, look around you, Look at the people. Mm. Look at your thoughts. Know who you are. And then look at your thoughts. You'll know how connected you are with everyone and everything. Mm. You are connected to earth. You're connected to people. You're connected to aliens. You're connected to your higher selves. You're connected to your guides, to your guardians, whoever you want to call them. You are all connected connected every time you have a thought it's connected to somebody else's thought hmm. that's wonderful thank you very much you're welcome are we complete today yes thank you very much thank you
Welcome back. Thank you, Dai Raccoon Eyes. Oh, you're fine. Let me give you some shungai to ground you. Mm. So, how do you feel? Spacey. Spacey. Well, that's why I give you the shungai. <laughs> My head feels really heavy. Yeah? Kind of like when you just wake up. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So put the shungai down there. Mm-hmm. Let's get you grounded. And allow that to just go down to Mother Earth. Feeling that sensation of just lighting up, lightening up your head. Going through your body and back down to Mother Earth. Rooting yourself back, tethering yourself back to that energy of the earth. How do you feel? Good. Were you annoyed this time? No. <laughs> Not at all. That was great. <laughs> so how long? No, I was looking. I looked forward to your voice because every time you... Every time you said something, I could see something else. I was like looking forward to the instructions. Ah, so now that you saw this beautiful place, yeah, that's pretty neat, huh? Yeah, it's cool. It was um, the place where it's weird though. Like children learn to come to Earth. Yeah, it was like an Earth for children. Yeah, but it wasn't. It wasn't real. Yeah, it had. Um, and I had a, 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 a experience before that only I only had a blurb of it. Mm. Now it makes sense. Now it makes total sense because I had I was a child and I was looking out into uh, the same thing, but I couldn't get past it. Oh. And that's that was what, that's when I was saying I was annoyed before because I couldn't get past it, and she wasn't guiding me. <laughs> so you did you did really well this time. Yeah, that you was did really well. That was great. Did you, were, were you surprised at any of the things that you learned? Mm-hmm. Yeah? What, did, what what felt different? What was... Um, I'm having a little bit of a hard time memor- mem- uh, remembering. Yeah. That's okay. How long do you feel you were on this little journey? 40 minutes? We are on an hour and a half. Whoa. Yeah. It doesn't feel mm-hmm. like that. What are the things that stand out? To you that you do remember? Um, is it is it fading? So I remember the the th- the person that I, the alien that I saw that I thought mm-hmm. was it was the guardian. The guardian. Yeah, mm-hmm. and. Um, So he's, he takes care of you. He keeps me safe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that was really neat. Mm-hmm. It's, it's like having somebody there with you from another part of you. Mm-hmm. Um, Do things make sense to you now? Or you have... I think you probably have to listen to the recording. Yeah. Put it into play. I mean, it was a little bizarre in my head. <laughs> It's pretty straightforward. Um, It's just a different way of thinking. I mean, yeah. I mean, here you are in the spaceship, and yes, that's what I'm saying. It's a. It was a little. It was a little bizarre as far as that goes. Uh, Well, it's kind of. It's really like. Let's say you go to a vacation. Yeah, a totally different part of the world that. It's totally... But it still feels a part of me. Right. Yeah. So when you come back here, Mm -hmm. it's like, well, I remember it, but I'm here now. Yeah. It's kind of like, well, that was bizarre, you know, because they don't live like I do now. And I felt um, when the people were around me... Mm -hmm. um, The courts? Like the... No, no, like my eyes would tear. Ah. Like it wasn't... I wasn't sad or anything. It just felt... Mm -hmm. I wasn't even emotional. I just I could feel the tears rolling down my mm-hmm. my my cheeks. It was great. Yeah. Is this something you want to keep private, or you want to share some of this? 
Maybe some. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm okay sharing some. Just Yeah. There's some personal stuff in there that we need to take out. Yeah. yeah. I don't I mean I don't I don't care if if you no, no. if anything I always, I, I always edit out. If I should say if 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 this could help with anybody or any then by well, all there's means. There's a lot of children out there. Mhm. Some of these children that Yes, and that's what was Okay, so I'm remembering that part. So it was like it was hard to explain. Mm-hmm. Because I'm talking about me, and <coughs> but I'm not me, mm-hmm. and I'm talking about like it's all you. Mm-hmm. But so you have. So what I was seeing is that I am. They took DNA from this person in Egyptian time, mm-hmm. and part DNA from this place where I was, where they were raising us, mm-hmm. and. You know, that's these, these kids and they're all waiting for these kids to take their turns to go to earth. Mm -hmm. And they're, they're not that many, but they're all over the place and it's, they're just slightly different from what I was seeing is like these kids were able to absorb things without it affecting, like they were, they're meant to allow things to Mm -hmm. absorb, Mm -hmm. but they're also their, their like main purpose. So when I was talking about being empathic, it makes sense. My, mm-hmm. my purpose is, is to share this empathic nature that I have. Mm-hmm. So other people can tap into their own empathic nature right. because that's how our society is supposed to go. Yeah. It's supposed to be more, it's supposed, it's showing that arrays of empathic and telepathic mm-hmm. natures. And um, I was getting the sense of not to question it, just a just, just to let it happen. Just to be it. Yeah. Just to be. Just to be doing it. Yeah. That's it. That's it wasn't saying like, you know, I have to go work on like anybody special. Yeah. I just have to, just everybody's be. special. Yeah. That's and right. the more people I can work on. And it was also showing that it doesn't matter what the modality is, but if it was hypnosis, you're able to tap into their consciousness and... Mm-hmm. And uh, keep it there then. Yeah. And I was being shown all these little gray pieces on people. That's, That's neat. Okay. Well, we did it. Mm-hmm. This is a great way to start your birthday celebration and <laughs> mine. Yes. Huh? Happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> so uh, how far did you come to, to be here today? Orlando. Orlando. So tell everybody how this experience was for you. It was wonderful. Everybody should have it done. You see things that are extraordinary. So how did so much? How did you see? It's like there's a screen in front of you, and you see almost holograms of everything. Mm, interesting. Mm-hmm. And were you getting anything while you were seeing? Were you picking up other information at the same time? Yes. Yeah. Yes, you get an empathic sense. Uh huh. And it's. It's not that you can't control the thoughts. You almost want to control the thoughts. It's just coming in. They're just they're they're just coming in and they're uh-huh. they're so vivid you almost you, you question it all the time. It's it's like am I about to say this? I'm about to say this. Okay. <laughs> Did you feel that you were controlling your mouth or was it just coming out? It was it was coming out. I was letting it I was letting it just You were letting come it out. flow? Yes. So how has this? How do you think this will change you now that you understand that you're one of these children that came here for a purpose? It allows me to understand that we are all connected, mm-hmm. and that the more you give, the more everybody gets. Mm-hmm. So keeping a positive frame of mind. If you don't like your, say you don't like your neighbors, or they're in a bad mood. You stay as joyful as can be, and that will still affect them, and eventually it will raise their vibration, mm-hmm. too. That's a really good way to, to think about it, because we, we are very powerful beings, mm-hmm. and w- what we put out there is very powerful. We, we were talking also about the fact that, um, about these children, that there's mm-hmm. so many of them. Mm-hmm. Do you feel like you've met any of these children? I, um, y- yes, yes, I do. Yeah. I, I think there is one in every so many areas yeah. and if you have an empathic gift you are just supposed to share your 
in, empathic nature. Give your intention, give your healing, and and just keep it growing. For the Good, and I'm sure maybe you're one of those children. <laughs> <laughs> so if you uh, if you want a session with me, you can go to my website albawyman.com. I do travel all over the place. So uh, to find out where you can see me, just go to my website to the out of town page, go to the bottom of the page, get on my newsletter and I do send it out about once a month to tell you where I'm gonna be traveling to and click on those links if there's a city near you, okay? So until the next time, I hope you enjoyed this video. I certainly enjoyed the session. It was really informative. And until the next time, I hope I get to see you soon. Bye.